Hi lovelies, I'm Arielle and this is Maven Unmasked and welcome to my updates, fall faves, and announcements video. Um, so happy October everyone. It is my favorite month. It is my birthday month. Yay! Happy birthday to all of you Scorpios out there. Um, if you guys read, um, Siobhan's mirror. Um, her tarot scopes will be coming out probably on the 21st, sometime between the 20th and 22nd of October. And I did write for the sign of Scorpio this month. Um, so please be sure to check that out. Um, you can find her Facebook page under uh, Siobhan's mirror. Okay, um, so some quick announcements, what I've been up to, what's going on with me. Um, I just finally finished my Intuitive Tarot 101 class um, that I was teaching for the first time um, this past weekend. It was so amazing, so beautiful. I am so humbled um, to teach such eager, enthusiastic students. Um, it was not a certification course by any means. Of course, they did get a certificate of completion, um, but it was just so humbling and uh, it was a challenge um, for me because it definitely challenged my tarot knowledge um, as well and wanting to bring forth um, as much of the material as I could in a digestible way. Um, so I hope those of you who participated enjoyed that. I have had um, many of you ask me when I'm doing it again because the dates didn't work for you as this was an in-person um, course. Um, so hopefully sometime in 2018, I will get the dates together and I will be sure to let you all know. Stay tuned to the Maven Unmasked YouTube channel, Facebook page, and newsletter slash website um, because it will definitely be up there when that happens. Um, on October 27th, I will be doing an intro to divination class in Columbia, Maryland. We'll be talking about tarot, runes, psychometry, um, dowsings, um, Lenormand, Kipper, all of the fun things, scrying, all of the things. Um, so that will be tons of fun. I'm very, very much looking forward to that. It's going to be a great class. We'll get to play around with some of the tools and learn a little bit about them. Um, also on November 1st, on All Souls Day, I will be having a Halloween and Samhain traditions as well as a meditation to honor the ancestors in Columbia, Maryland as well. I hope to see you there. It is going to be absolutely beautiful. Um, it is the time to honor our ancestors and go within ourselves and take a look at our shadows and work through some of that, illuminating some of that um, as we're beginning our process of going, you know, deep within as the veil is thinning. So I hope to see you all in Columbia, Maryland on November 1st for that. Okay, um, some updates of what I'm going to be doing. Um, I will be in Chicago from October 16th through the 22nd. Um, I will be taking a mediumship class and workshop um, as well as supporting my soul family to further... Um, um, grow in my mediumship development. I'm always still taking classes constantly. It may not seem like it here, um, but I'm literally attending classes and circles and all of these things every week um, to be my best self, to serve spirit better um, and to help humanity as well. So I'm so looking forward to that. It is not going to be much of a vacation. I'll be working the whole time, but I'm so excited. I've been waiting months and months and months for this. Um, I will leave my Etsy shop as well as my mavenamass.com website um, shop open and available for you to purchase anything that you wish. Um, just be mindful that if you do purchase a reading from me in that time, um, you will not get it until after my return on October 22nd, and I will send them out in the order that they are received. But I just wanted to make sure to keep the shop open for you all because I am offering some bundle readings. This is my first time doing bundle readings, you guys, which is so cool. Um, and I'm really excited to be offering that as well. I have my Witchy Wonders bundle. Each of these bundles are my Samhain reading bundles. You get three readings for the price of two, pretty much. Um, and each, pretty much each reading is a three-card reading. So you'll get three three-card readings in the Witchy um, Wonders bundle. Um, you'll get three three-card readings in the uh, Samhain Shadows bundle. That's all about shadow work. Um, while the Witchy Wonders reading is about bringing out the, that inner witch and your inner power um, out into the world and manifesting. And then I also have my Shape Shifter bundle, which not all of those are three cards. Um, one is a central um, focused um, card. I mean, one of those three readings in that particular bundle, but it is all about transformation and changing shape, alchemy, all of those kinds of things. So 
please get your hand on one before they're gone. They will be gone on November 1st. So <clears throat> please sh be sure to get them while you can. In addition, my mediumship readings are 25% off for the month of October um, to help you connect to your loved ones in spirit. Alrighty. Um, I cannot believe <laughs> that I, you know, it's been a year since I went to San Antonio, Texas um, for the LWI SSD San Antonio Summit um, to get my certification um, as a certified psychic medium. Um, I can't believe how much has happened in a year and how much I've changed and grown in a year and how much more confident I have become. Um, I am a few weeks away from finishing up another advanced mediumship course um, where I'm hoping to be certified in that as well and get double certification. Um, I do want to say that certification doesn't necessarily mean anything, but for me, it means that I'm upholding myself to a certain standard, to a high level, and I'm putting my all of my efforts, all of my studies, all of my energy into doing this work for the best and highest good to the best and highest of my ability. So that's kind of what's been going on with me. Um, as well, please be sure to check out and subscribe to my other YouTube channel, you guys, Mystic Minds 999 with my dear friend Alyssa Miller of Greenlight Messages. Um, we talk about shadow work um, in our latest episode. Um, we've talked about shamanism and what is that. Um, we have talked about the difference between psychic mediumship and um, divination because so many people ask that all the time. We're going to talk about more fringe topics. We may talk about aliens at some point. Um, we're definitely going to talk about earthbound spirits and haunted locations and things like that. Things that um, you won't see me talk about here on Maven Unmasked, um, my YouTube channel. So please be sure to head on over to Mystic Minds 999 and hit the subscribe button. Um, you will definitely be in for a treat. But speaking of my dear friend, Alyssa from Greenlight Messages, she has made me this wonderful, and she made this for me a little while ago, um, meditation wrap. And it's got moonstone, it's got amethyst, and it's got a lovely clear quartz double terminated point here. Um, and it just is so... <sighs> witchy. I love it. Um, I know it's a meditation wrap and you can use it to meditate. I don't really use it for that. I like to use it um, when I do my ritual work or my spell work or manifesting or anything witchy or creative that I'm doing and I feel like I want a little extra zhuzh. I'll get one of these. So um, please be sure to check out greenlightmessages.com or um, the Greenlight Messages Etsy shop where you can get your hands on some of these. She's got them in a whole bunch of different colors. Um, but these obviously the purple and the white and the black are my colors if you know anything about me. Um, but I definitely wanted to give her a shout out because I'm really loving it and I'm really loving it for fall and for Samhain and all of those things. So if you want to get one for your Samhain rituals um, for your witchy woo night, be sure to go ahead and grab one. Um, in addition, so let's talk about some of my favorite decks and my fall fave things. So what decks am I using this fall? Oh, I am using da 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 Everyday Witch Tarot. I love this deck. I find it to be really accurate. I find it to be nurturing and sweet, but still like lets you know what's up when it needs to. Um, but definitely, dev definitely loving this, my witchy boo friends. It's the Everyday Witch Tarot. Um, I believe it's by Llewellyn Publications. Okay. Um, but definitely helping you get into that fall vibe, that Samhain vibe. You know, they've got little witch hats and things you know, in cauldrons, and I just really, really enjoy it. I think it's fun. I think it's really fun. So, enjoying the Everyday Witch Tarot. Um, I'm also enjoying, if you want to know more about the Everyday Witch Tarot, I do have um, a blog post, unboxing, deck interview, review um, on the MavenUnmasked.com website, um, where you can check that out. Okay. Um, also, if you've seen on my channel recently, the Santa Muerte Tarot. Okay. I recently did an unboxing and first impressions of this deck. I am absolutely in love with it. If you're like me and you enjoy shadow work, <laughs> um, you know, you're not afraid to go there. This is definitely a great deck for that. If you want to embrace the energy of Samhain or Santa Muerte, I definitely, um, suggest using this as well. For me, I know some of you out there are crazy about Deviant Moon. 
Deviant Moon is not a deck for me. I much prefer Santa Muerte. Um, I think, you know, I probably get just as what you guys are getting out of your Deviant Moon, but the imagery um, works so much better for me. I'm loving the deck. I'm loving the colors. I'm loving the symbolism. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you want to know more about it, um, Fabio Lestrani um, is the creator of this deck. It's a Low Scarabeo deck, and I just, I am in love. <laughs> again the lovers okay the two of cups is, in this deck is phenomenal um but please you know please um, be sure to head over and check out my santa muerte unboxing and first impressions video if you want to know more about this deck i'm really enjoying it um i don't pull from it every day but pretty close to it loving it um for Samhain and for fall Okay, Oracle decks. Do, 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 do. Um, these three I do have unboxings and first impressions for on my channel as well. Um, we have the Heal Yourself Reading Cards by Ina Segal or Ina Ina. I apologize if I'm saying it incorrectly. Perfect for shadow work. I love pairing it with the Santa Muerte. That has been my jam <laughs> since I've had both of these babies um, together in my hands. Um, the Heal Yourself reading cards, they're loving, but they're not afraid to go into some darker and shadowier aspects. Um, the imagery isn't all rainbows and butterflies. I mean, there are some some wispier, you know, looking images. Um, I did do an unboxing of this. If you want to see what I'm, okay, see, self-sabotage. See what I mean? Okay, so I'm loving this, adoring this for fall. Okay, so what else do I got? I also have the Sacred Power Reading Cards, um, which I have been using. Um, to me, this is not so much like a shadow work kind of thing. This is more of a um, spiritual energizing kind of deck or tuning in with my um, my higher self, but just in a different way. Beautiful deck. It's by Anna Stark. Again, Rockpool Publishing. Check out the unboxing and review on my YouTube channel. Um, and then I also have the Dreamtime Reading Cards by Laura Bowen. Again, Rockpool Publishing. Loving this. I love to pull a card from this before I go to bed to kind of see where my dreams are going to take me or um, what they want me to know now or maybe what I should focus on um, before I head off to sleep. And then I like to pull one in addition when I wake up in the morning um, to see what message my dreams were trying to give to me, um, the outcome of all of that. What was my energy or my guides working on with me while I was sleeping? Um, I love the the uh, spirit of the, you know, of Aboriginal Australia in this. Um, I just, I adore this deck. So that is another fall fave. Um, so let's get into some more of the spookier things. Okay. Halloween Oracle used it last year. Absolutely still working with it. Love it. Um, it's by Stacey DeMarco and Blue Angel Publishing. If you're really into Halloween like this girl, then this you know, is definitely a deck for you. It embraces more than just the energies of Halloween. It embraces the energies of, you know, of, of Samhain. So I'm, what I mean by that is not just traditional, like, trick or treat. You know, it's got a little bit of everything, okay? It's got your spooks, your ghouls, your goblins. It also talks about the importance of the hearth. Okay, home and hearth and synergy. And, you know, it talks about the veil thinning, Beautiful cards. Really love this deck. Um, another Oracle deck that I am using is Divination of the Ancients. I do have an unboxing um, of this somewhere in my YouTube channel history. Um, I really enjoy it. I think it's fun. Um, I think if you're interested in learning more about divination, again, hence, come to my Intro to Divination class. Um, <clears throat> but... You know, it gives you different areas maybe you want to increase your divination skills with. So working with the divination of thunder and lightning, of storms, um, reading the aura, okay? Ogham, seeing signs and patterns in nature, okay? Um, flowers, there's so many um, different ways of divination. Ouija boy.